As I was watching one of the president's daily news conferences, I surely do wish the focus was on all of the pertinent information during the coronavirus White House briefings instead of being subjected to the coddling of the daily circus of reporters from the left who make it very difficult for anyone to hear the very important information the president, vice president, and the task force were trying to share with the American people. The objective of the so-called reporters and their networks on the left certainly does appear to be all about taking down Donald Trump and because of their hatred for him, it could not be any more clear that they could care less about who may die or be injured as a direct result of what I consider to be their gross and willful negligence as news outlets and reporters. In my opinion, the FCC should consider revoking their license. These propagandists should be reclassified as democratic political action organizations. We need to clean the system up so the people's time and President Trump's time can be much better utilized getting our country and its citizens moving in the right direction again. Under the phenomenal leadership of the President and his administration, I believe that they have protected us and kept us very well informed. The lamestream media would prefer to screw that all up and fabricate issues about President Trump instead of doing their job and informing the American people about the political mistakes that Democrats repeatedly make. And sadly, none of the news organizations are reporting on the billions of dollars that have gone missing under Uncle Joe and his son, Bo, during the Ukraine scandal. Therefore, I highly recommend that you stop playing the lamestream media's games. I would much prefer and highly recommend that Donald Trump and his administration start doing safety training videos to prepare to reopen our country. I believe that you should take and open up the most important business in all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and the American territories. And in these businesses, I think that you should implement the safety factors and make this information public. I believe that you should make sure that you get the input of the workers to make the system better. And I also believe that we should be supplying every worker with a clean uniform when they come to work every day. I saw that the Smithfield factory had closed down because they had 300 workers who were infected by the coronavirus and that this was a Chinese company. And I would reopen that as an American company. And to take any of the employees that were healthy, keep them working, allow the other workers who are sick right now to come back to work when they're ready, and also bring new people on the job as well. There are plenty of people out of work, and I'm sure some of them would love to have a job right now. This would be a step towards strengthening American industries. And this would be a step towards having more American-based industries and towards having more Americans proudly make products made in the USA.